Hello, everybody. Welcome back up here. Uh, another uh, two week report. Uh, that is a, from the full moon in Aries to the new moon at Scorpio. Uh, this is uh, going to be some uh, interesting events uh, following the new moon of Libra. If you haven't watched that report uh, in there. Uh, well, we're talking about the rising of the unhealed pants. There's going to come in and they're going to be hitting hard on that full moon. Uh, particularly, there's going to be more about this uh, masculine energies, a lack of changing of the masculine, the hardest type of this uh, willingness uh, in there. But it's going to be as a relationship family. Mars is still in Cancer. It's going to be sticking around uh, in Cancer for a while. Uh, so uh, don't think about it. That he's going to be escaping. We're going to be dealing with this for uh, quite a few months. So uh, dealing with this, it's a clearing a pattern. Unhealed wounds, unhealed uh, psychological, emotional, self, whatever is uh, in there. Because it's about Chiron. Okay. What is the situation though? Uh, after the trigger of the full moon, as you see it uh, uh, here on your screens, we're talking about uh, the new moon is going to be right in here. That's going to happen at the 24 degree, 36th minute, in about uh, uh, that's about the sun and the moon, the full oppositions. That's going to be the full force, the full power, the time that uh, is going to be and as you see it uh, right here uh, this is the beginning of the energy that is going to be but there's going to be some more energies present into this and if you have to go even deeper there's going to be some more energies later on <laughs> excuse me but what are we talking about here is this t square this t square with mars <laughs> Uh, that two square with Mars uh, is going to be creating a lot of issues. Um, they're going to be a family-based uh, issues. So forever you you were within family, unhealthy parents, a family that leads to unhealthy parents of what? Of relationship. But the unhealthy parents and family, it leads to unhealthy situations from within you, which is coming from what? Chiron that is in, in areas. So as the your intuition is going to be telling you what uh, it is in that healed, things coming out on the surface, they're still going to be coming out on the surface uh, for a while in there. Uh, but with that uh, energies, uh, there's going to be a lot of growth. Uh, Jupiter is going to return us back. He's a retrograde that is at about to revise. The situations of growth of what kind of authority did you put in with yourself um maybe other people put things in within your head and now you think that those are standards but when you awaken you find out that that's not your standard this is not the process of how things works and you may go for you may be going to find out the things that they're going to rise up from the subconscious uh, in there uh for it and they're going to be really uh kind of like a shocking you're going to be going through this uh, shock elements now when the shock elements are coming in what are you going to do mars is in a good positions with uh, uranus and uh, neptune that is your escape path uh, uh, from all these debacles uh in there that you need to solve it within you that is going to be the universe creates this because the unhealed patterns of the masculine cannot exist in a family because creates unhealthy family uh, members and then that unhealthy family members creates another unhealthy family and this is what the society is, has been doing it uh, uh, for and is looking at inside and of course this is going to be a divine intervention you're going to be seeing it, that transitions of the moon between Leo and Virgo, how much divine is going to be there. I'm going to be showing you, so stick around here uh, with this. But the overall uh, energy of this uh, new moon, it's going to be that. 
facing those unhealed patterns inside of you that are connecting within that authority you have within the relationship. You need to understand all the relationships they are based on a mutuality, not of who you are and controlling the relationship. And this is what Mars squaring the sun and Mars squaring the moon is about control. It is about to letting go of the control, and this is a needs a cardinal changes within this. Um, there's going to be some a lot of confrontations uh, during uh, that. I'm going to tell you that full moon is going to be really full moon, uh, so it's going to be knock you things out. But uh, uh, with this uh, energy, guys, my suggestions to you: it is it focus of what you can grow. Focus on that uh, personality. Another thing that is going to be, that is from the North Node in Uranus. It's about the universe with the sun. Okay? Your authority should be focused on what you're building in there and remove the old. Spoke about uh, um, on a yesterday's report. It is about boom, purging, making a room, accept the new, and go forward. Purging, accept the new, move forward. And that's how it's going to go. Otherwise, all those old patterns in here within relationships, they're going to be uh, not healthy. And this is what's going to happen is, is we are going to be having another year and a half as a the South Node is going to be going into Virgo. The North Node is going to be going into Pisces. That is a healing the body and healing the spirit. Where are you going with your spirit? It's going to be some great time, rough situations, and so on, but with a great, great, powerful purpose. Okay? All right. So as that goes, and it triggers, as you see it in the next day, the moon is going to be going to a Taurus. Uh, she's going to be uh, opposing uh, Mercury, uh, but the divine energies uh, towards uh, uh, Lilith uh, in there is going to come in with Saturn. The wisdom is going to be the purpose of what you see in it after the conflict. You will understand the power of a Saturn. This is going to be a lot of divine intervention, guys. Uh, if uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, you will. You will understand it uh, during this period. Uh, Venus is going to come out of uh, its shadow uh, period. So Scorpio is going to be rising. And this is going to be the time one of the energies right there is going to come out to talk hey man i got through all this or you know what i got through all that and so on and so on yeah it's a great to share your stories just don't go against the universe okay uh this is a kind of like a warning shot uh, in there because venus uh, opposing Uranus, it's leading to nothing good because the universe creates the love and the love when it goes to its own creator in there guess what happens there's a huge conflict in order to see this uh venus is going to be going into a deep transformations and from those deep transformations to pluto uh she's going to be going into the universe energies that is the only way to change not what you think the love is and fighting the universe allow the universe to give you that transformations of love so you can experiencing the real love in the real case the real situations with everything within inside of you okay so as the moon is going to get this uh, energies uh, towards uh, Lilith you're going to be experiencing things within the shadow self the shadow the things that you hide in the relationship those are the things you don't talk in your relationship that they ruin your relationship you all know what I'm talking about unspoken things in the relationship ruins the relationship when you do something and at the end of the day he says like uh yeah you know what it's too late i already done it I already booked it I already bought it you know things like that for example you make a big purchase without telling your partner and then all of a sudden your partner freaks out it's like hey we don't have the money what the heck are you doing you went over your head of your partner this is a kind of like a, those things or things that uh, you're afraid to spoke about it because you're afraid of a conflict. You need to understand the conflict exists because there is an issue that needs to be addressed and solving those issues, increasing 
the power within the relationship. But since if you're living in so much fears within this, guess what? You give it up in the fears, you hide in the things, and this is what the moon is like. Hey, enough is enough. It's a divine time because this is a uh, the energies of Taurus. Okay, otherwise you won't be materializing things. So uh, with this energy of that day, be mindful. Uh, there's gonna be some challenges in there. Uh, in the next day, uh, that's gonna be the 19th of October uh, for beautiful divine energies towards uh, the sun, the authority. As you see, all this energy is gonna be focused right here at Libra. Okay, all this energy is coming here. Everything is connecting up here. All right. And to create this balance in there with the universe, it's going to be required the intuition. But the intuition is in divine energies from what? From Neptune and the North Node. You've been waiting for a signs. You've been waiting for things. They're going to come to you. Uranus is going to be speaking to you. But as you uh, may facing the energies of that, you don't like what the universe gives you. Let's say the universe tells you this is the person, that is it, uh, what you need to do, this is what the situation, and so on and so on. And you're like, well, no, 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 no. I, I don't want this universe. I don't like this in the universe. Like you like it or not, it is what it is. And guess what? You don't accept what it is. You don't accept that uh, what the universe giving you in the front of your golden platinum within yourself you don't accept this. And here is that uh, authority that is going to come out. And she's going to be in a fight with what? Lack of challenges. Uh, I don't want to change. I don't want to transform. I want to fight. And I have this and he wants within me. And basically, I don't see this. Um, very interesting because uh, uh, this moon... Uh, Venus oppositions is talking about usually when it's in a personal charts, uh, guys. Venus opposing the moon that is a the mother that is putting too much pressure into the daughter of what love it is without allowing it. Uh, in there, this is so much controls. Uh, with this, it's the same thing. What happens is during uh, particularly that kind of like kind of energies, the feminine energies, if that is a daughter, they are wounded and the person's. And the female develops the masculine energies. So if somebody's born at this time, they're going to have a, a lot of rough time in there. It's going to be some a lot of divine blessings they have to understand and working on it, but they have to face these challenges. So those challenges between mother daughter relationship can also unhealed wounds can rise up in the surface. And this is a about between the intuition universe what it's giving it to you uh certain unpredictable changes facing about everything you know about love and money be mindful with your expressions if you're expressing uh, bad stuff about love and money guess what the universe is gonna slap you so bad that before you even go it because he can't talk bad about love. He can't talk about uh, these things in there. So lessons is going to be learned uh, uh, with this as a Venus uh, right here. It's looking also for that energy that's going to go towards the future. Talking about the North Node and Aries. All right, next day. Uh, that is going to be the 20th of October. As you see at the moon, it's going to be a divine energy with Mercury. It's time about these talks. But since Mercury is at Scorpio, this is, could be a very interesting uh, situation. Those could be a lot of deep, uh, deep uh, uh, talk with your underworld. But that is also a deep talks about how you're dealing with the materialistic things with others. You trying to operate the material possessions of others, the growth that the others have for your own benefits. So this is, is going to be telling you like you should not think about how you do this because you have the right to choose things to do, but you have to also think about the consequences and that. That it's coming so uh it is about let's be a friend so basically the moon is going to be creating this let's be a friend things uh in there but uh, still that oppositions with uh, our venus is going to be continue going on because this is going to be a lot of duality in there can you be forgiving 
Can you forgive your mother? Can you forgive your daughter? Can you forgive this feminine side in them? But for the masculine, that's going to be, can you forgive that the woman does certain things that you don't understand for it? As somebody said, you cannot keep a woman, it doesn't matter what you do. The only way to keep a woman is if she chooses you to be her keeper. Okay, so no control, no forces in there. Uh, that's what that takes. Uh, but it's going to be taking this masculine perspective to understand certain things about family. No control. No control, guys. All right. Next day, 21st. Uh, the moon is going to be joining Jupiter. A lot of growth uh, in there. We are talking about this particularly growth from the healing. You did the proper work and the divine energies that it's coming Particularly, we're talking about right now Saturn towards uh, True Lilith, which is exposing the truth uh, in there. Neptune and uh, Uranus, they are pointing out towards uh, the sun, these divine energies. I was talking about when the sun ending uh, uh, within Libra, you're finally going to get the divine points. Okay, you're going to get the divine points. But the people who are afraid from the divine, who are afraid from the energies, who are afraid from all this new energies there enter into already the earth uh, in there guess what they're going to do i don't want to change i want to fight for what to, i think is right and i'm going to be doing my way just mars and guess what's going to happen you're going to be destroyed more things that you ever built so with this uh, kind of like uh, uh energies be mindful about uh, situations in the family and relationships uh, in there as a uh, Pluto is already direct and Pluto says like, uh, come on, I got to hurry up. I don't have time for you to wake up, to make up your mind. You may want to feel this pressure because that pressure is going to be coming in particularly um, towards Mars. Since Mars and uh, Pluto, they are in opposition. Okay. And the authority square and call this uh, for it is like uh, ready or not, here I come ready or not the train is living ready or not you're gonna be where you're supposed to be according to the universe like it or not it is what it is uh those are about the people who understand the power of it is what it is and hopefully you do understand it this uh energies all right next day we're talking about 22nd this is going to be the time that uh, the sun is going to be kind of like a uh shifting uh, from um uh libra into uh scorpio uh energies uh the moon is gonna be divine energies with uh, um venus but it's gonna facing the challenges the challenges of where you're going the challenges they're also gonna be with the the, the past and uh what is that lilith what is this secret things in there and when you find the secrets, you're going to be having more opportunity because when you release the secrets, you empty the space, you purge things. You purge things that uh, comes in within the relationships itself. Beautiful energies for the communications. That's going to be from the trine between the moon and the Mercury at uh, Scorpio. We're talking about emotions. Uh, this is going to be the time that you can express your emotions and fully uh, beautiful energies to to say and commit to the love in there about within the family but at the same time the challenges is it's going to be are you going to be vulnerable and that vulnerability it is more about masculine energies to have the guts to have the balls okay sometimes the feminine energies they don't have this they cannot go there and do it but the right woman the wise woman knows how to do this what happens is, is the man does not know how to be vulnerable. The, but the divine masculine, they know that they have to be vulnerable and honest in their relationship. Not because of what it is, because the honesty, it is part within themselves. So uh, that honesty is going to be actually triggered uh, in the next day. Uh, that is going to be the moon that's going to be triggered, Mars all over the place. That's going to be this energy of the subconscious that it's going to be a you vulnerable, a you honest. You're in all this mess because you learn untruth. You learned matrix stuff. You live in the matrix. You don't live in the reality. And here is what Mark says. Yeah, but I want to wake up in the reality. 
in there. I am uh, this. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this rusty boat. I don't like that I have to live underneath the world. I want to be out there. I want to enjoy the restaurant. Uh, I want to be going on for this. And here is that uh, that comfort is in there. That's one other person wants one thing, another person wants totally different. But those two exist within you. The one is your ego, the other one is your soul. And as the intuition tries to solve all this uh, debacle in there, because it's about uh, uh, about you, she's going to be seeking for clarity, for her visions, for communications. How's your communications will be? Mercury has not made this uh, energies with uh, Mars yet for having communications. So who is going to be with all this energy? It's going to be Uranus. Okay. So uh, this uh, energy is powering up in here as the moon and Mars. We're going to be seeing that the effects of here of the um, Uranus that's coming and help with all that. He's going to help the moon. He's going to help the Mars. He's going to be using Neptune for the proper visions uh, in there. From uh, all these energies, he supplies the energies for the transformations to Pluto. Because Uranus, he has this collective energies antennas that brings the energies. He receives the positive, the negatives, and he makes the necessary changes. This is why Uranus is representing uh, that energies of Age of Aquarius. He's where? In Taurus. So he's going to ask you to go ahead and recreate certain changes on Earth moving from one place to another for one situation to another working with art proper way of working on art okay this is also material possessions is in there material growth is in there right well, somebody has to do it so uh with that uh, energies guys uh, be very careful but uh, you're always uh, gonna get help okay as the moon is going to be going into Leo and the sun is entering uh, Scorpio, we are going to have a really heck of a time. I will be, I mean, this is we're talking about ego and dark warriors combined in intense energies with transformations. Basically, this is going to be like. Uh, uh, I don't care. I'm going to get what I want. And even if I have to do whatever I need to do. And with that kind of like a Scorpio's energy, the divine state is going to tell you, don't do it. Don't do it. As you see, this divine energy is from Neptune and Uranus that is going to come into the authority. It's going to be a lot of fights. You are going to be like, you know what? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to move. I don't want this. I don't want that. This kind of like energies of the ego that you trying to control everything that it's under the sun. You're trying to be the king, the queen, but that is a more as a dictatorship. That particular aspect uh, between uh, Leo and a Scorpio is talking about absolute dictatorship uh, in there. And that dictatorship can be uh, from all over from uh, situations to the harshest deepest manipulations you can find particularly that that is involving pluto okay the negative side of the pluto is now changed like uh, i will change this and then i'm gonna do this he's gonna do that you know that family uh feminine intuition i call it what actually it's called manipulation uh for when the female secretly learn how to manipulate the masculine energies all that's going to be is one of the masculine energies finds this out, what is happening in there, that they've been manipulated, right? So looking at this, this is coming from seeking the relationships in the next level because the relationships begins in Libra, but they have to evolve. And they go through what? Through Scorpio. And here at Scorpio, you're finding this material possessions with others how you work with the operations with the things but scorpio is also what and in emotions and you see how the emotions is going to go on in that uh, case uh, with you 
so those kind of like kind of energies uh, in there they are gonna be really triggering the heck out of you okay all right the next day uh 25th as you see it uh, the moon goes into uh this divine energies divine intervention saturn pointing out the saturn in there look at it, what the wise man said look at it, uh, those divine energies from uh, uranus look at it, those divine energies from jupiter a lot of yachts including uh, we are talking about jupiter and chiron yacht uh, towards uh, mercury divine talks communications within the shadow man everything is going to be like turning upside down okay so if you yesterday you totally blew that up today you're going to be having a talk with the divine why did you did with this but if you, yesterday you did everything okay you're going to have these blessings from the divine and this is going to be your challenge and there of what are you going to be choosing you're free to choose but you're not free of the consequences of your choices so uh, with those uh, uh, energies uh, guys uh, in the next day even though the the divine energies from pluto and uh, neptune uh, they're gonna be you know the, already know about these energies you were warned about those energies right we're talking about the end of leo the beginning of virgo but that right now we have so much uh, divine energies that you're gonna be basically pinching yourself why because they see that what we are doing it here in our ego-based survival existence we are destroying not only ourselves we are destroying the divine creation and now the divine has to step it up they have to step it up uh, inside of it uh, uh, in there uh, for the things uh, to it and this is what you look at it inside of yourself with that intuition that i'm a dictator and i'm going towards the universe uh talking about this particular leo taurus energy uh in there you know keeping up everything about yourself you have everything and the poor guys have nothing right because you're still in war you being this kind of like a trickster to trickster everything okay talking about uh, all this with an investment world and all this kind of like uh, under the knee tables and control this it controls that and all of a sudden yeah you got all the money and you enjoy your act and and so on and so on well in a based of what somebody else's hard working backs so this is kind of like it's going to come out uh, for it a lot of the kings and the queens uh, uh, in there they will be suffering from this fighting the universe in there particularly we are talking about mercury opposing uranus be mindful what you're saying against the universe how dare you not but it's your business okay you have the rights of free expressions all right talking about the next day still divine expressions all over the place this is gonna be about the divine path coming in the front of you that energy is gonna come uh, from the sun and the moon uh designing uh, to comes in and go forward within themselves rebuilding themselves okay and that rebuild uh, within yourself is gonna require what connections on all levels healing deep healing of everything as the moon is going to be uh in there uh at virgo but the moon it is opposing saturn the moon is querying venus you need to understand the wisdom and love coming in together in practice are the best healing positions and this is going to be a huge lesson for a lot of the people uh in there the society is going to be understand again this kind of like a daughter mother relationship is going to be as a saturn tries to be an advisor in this case guess what's going to happen the moon is going to be says the advisor is wrong the daughter is going to say oh, no, the advisor is wrong 
it's about this money and love and the intuition is going to be needs to be healed that logic is going to come in uh, for it and that logic is going to be missing those divine aspects and hopefully you're not choosing this uh this square up here i i hope you're choosing these divine energies of the path that you're going forward you purge some of the stuff out you move a little bit you accept what the new energies are and you continue go step by step you're going forward with that energy as a pluto it's moving forward all right um wrong button there you go um we are talking about uh, in the next day. This is going to be already uh, 28th uh, of October. The moon is still going to be up uh, with uh, uh, Virgo. Uh, still, again, a lot of divine energies, a lot of intuitions, a lot of messages. Uh, there's going to be a lot of downloads, wisdom. The authorities focus on where it goes. And that is going to be the Scorpio's energy. It's like we got to get there. You know, when the Scorpios has this, uh, I would say, um, 007 determination, he's going to be doing what he has to do. So this is what kind of like this uh, energies will be more uh, represent. Yes, 007 represents particularly Scorpio, uh, the secret agent uh, that has all this charisma and sexuality in there, which is that's what Scorpio is uh, for but he's looking forward for the future and that's what uh, his agenda is uh but uh, lack of transformations is going to be causing this not to happen you've been changed you're transformed you using the divine energies yes you can go forward into your journey all right next day we're talking about the 29th of uh, october the moon is going to be opposing neptune and uh, the north node uh, that is about but i don't see this relationship uh, it's going to be the past it's repeating itself because the moon is joining what is joining the south node uh it's thinking about the previous relationship and so on guys learn it you may gonna end up in the same situations but if you making the same actions the same thinking the same thought process you are going to be ending up doing the same behavior and actions if you end up in the same situations thinking about what you can do it differently what you were wrong the previous connections and what you can do right now okay this energy is going to be trigger the heck out of you uh, in there a lot of the past wounds is going to be coming in and they're going to hurt but don't bring old relationships within the new relationships because the person is not the same it's not the same person as you had in your relationship but your mind because afraid of the wounds in there can create these scenarios and you can see only what you're projecting to see and a base of your past experience so please don't do so okay all right lessons learned i hope it's learning i mean look at this chart uh, as the moon is in divine energies with saturn god bless your souls one way or another if you did the good things you divine blessings if you did the wrong things divine will teach you so guess what that's how it goes uh beautiful energies that's going to be with uh, venus that is going to be the time when you're learning the relationships is healing of what a lot of love a lot of uh great uh, expressions a lot of great uh, situations and a lot of healing that has been the moon is trining jupiter the moon is also sextiling venus venus is training chiron chiron is sextiling jupiter and that's how the grow goes intuition love and money working together of healing the past within yourself for the future development of the oneself and this is what uh, jupiter is like uh, you forgot how to grow yourself you need to understand guys take one hour a day one 
you're going to be looking at yourself. You're going to be working on yourself. You're going to be working on your development with you. Because those energies is asking you to develop yourself as a new conscious, aware, and awakened soul on earth. You to have the greatest experience as a soul in your body. Not to suppress it, not to control it, not to manipulate it. Because when you do that, there is no relationship. And this is where the moon is going to be realizing that at Libra. Divine learning about relationships. And as we go in at uh, forward on the 31st of uh, October uh, in there, that is going to be when the moon is in a very kind of like interesting positions of Uranus and Neptune divine uh, uh, situations. That is where the sun already was. She understand what the authority had to go through it. The lack of transformations, the inner fights in there that it, there are. Because the moon is ending up on that T square as the sun was. And this is going to be kind of like a closing that uh, cycle of the new moon of Libra. It's like in the end I understood what it was. Okay. And this is going to be a lot of aha moments, a lot of downloads, a lot of appreciations is in there. Uh, but the thing is going to be okay because uh, Mercury is trining Mars and Mercury, it is also trining Neptune. A lot of emotions, vulnerability under the universe energies. So uh, things is going to be uh, good, great, a lot of divine transformations that's coming. And here is the new moon uh, at uh, Scorpio. Uh, it's coming. It is main focus is what? That the intuitions and the sun are coming in together towards a new future. It doesn't have uh, bad aspects, right? Uh, it's connecting uh, synchronized energies with Saturn. Let's do this. Let's learn this. Let's get this wisdom out there. And let's do it with the proper emotions for the better future to come. But is that going to be? You can see the things in there. But would you have the guts and the balls to do it? And you're going to know about it in the next reports. About from the new moon that it's going to be at uh, Scorpio. Okay. To the full moon in Taurus. This is going to be really interesting energies. Because it has to deal with the material and emotional possessions. From oneself with others. All right, guys. So that's all I have for you for right now. Thank you so much. Looking forward for your comments. And if you have any personal inquiries, you can send me an email down below. Thank you so much for watching. Be loved, guys. Use the divine energies. There's going to be plenty of it. Plenty of abundance of divine energies. Okay? Be loved.